I have to work in my company and at night yeah, I have to uh, enjoy class. Uh, I am learning a master degree. Yeah, it's really tired. Oh, wow. you're working very hard. So what are you getting your master's degree in? Yes, uh, because uh, I am learning uh, IT, so I also get master in uh, IT. Very good. Any specific area? What about your research? Yeah. Okay, so I'm learning about... Um, See, no, I'm not sure about this. Um, maybe I can say... Um, the, um, actually, I'm learning about... The, oh, I cannot okay. describe it. Yeah. Programming is your area, correct? Yes, programming. Very good, very good. Well, you're a hard-working young man. I respect that. That's great. Yeah, as long as you are young, so you should learn as much as possible. That's right. Keep going, keep going. That's right. I'm, uh, I'm quite surprised because uh, many men in uh, DDM they are in their 40s and 50s, maybe. You bet. You I would say very, yeah, they're older than you, that's for sure. They are really, uh, you know, hardworking. I think so, because uh, when, uh, I don't know, uh, but in Vietnam, when uh, you are old, many people, uh, yeah, they don't really like uh, learning more. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I think, uh, I don't know about uh, in Vietnam, but uh, I think you will realize, because you like education, that the education never stops. Oh, yes. There you go. Let me say hi to Francisco. Francisco, you're a young man. Do you agree education never stops? I cannot hear Francisco. Maybe he's busy. Boyu, how are you? How are you? I'm good. Good. I can hear you fine. I can hear you good and strong. Okay. Let me say Did hi. Did you talk to me just now? Uh, I'm Earlier. just check, just checking, just saying hi. Uh, okay. Okay. Because just now I forgot to turn my speaker on. And then I couldn't hear anything. Then I used my cell phone, and then I realized I I just turned off the speaker on my iPad. So <laughs> problem solved. Okay. Yes. Good. Let me say hi to Ksem. Ksem, hi Ksem. Hi, coach. How are you? Good. I'm guessing it's Kasem. How do you pronounce your name? Kasem. Kasem. Gassim, Gassim, yeah. Congratulations on the end of Ramadan. Uh, thank you very much. Ramadan, uh, bless you. Thank you very much. Are you eating lots of delicious food? Of course, on the start time, every day. As I'm <laughs> an executive chef, and uh, <laughs> I'm do my uh, my food for my guests also on the, my restaurant. Oh, that's wonderful. That's great. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Let me say hi to Hatran. Hi, Hatran. Your microphone is off. Hi, Kocheng. Good, good. And Berta has joined in. Hi, Berta. Did you have your dinner? Yeah, I did. What did you have? Uh, spaghetti with meatballs and salad. Oh, sounds delicious. Yeah. Did you make it? Uh, yeah, I did. Are you a good chef? Um, I'm a good cook, but not, not chef. <laughs> Very good. Let me check yeah. Francisco again. Francisco, can you hear me? Francisco, I can see that your microphone is on, but I cannot hear you. Can I, uh, if you can, type 
uh, whether or not you can hear me. Perhaps you might want to leave and come back. Maybe that will help. Hatran says she's just listening. We're getting set up here. Okay. Um, once again, uh, Francisco, if you change something and your microphone is working, please say something anytime you want. But right now I cannot hear you. Uh, and Hatran too, I don't believe your microphone is on, so you're just listening. You say that's fine, absolutely fine. Uh, and we'll go ahead and get started, everybody. Um, we've got DDM 233, 234, 235, and 236. DDM 233 was what makes you, you. And this was a little bit complicated. It was Anthony Robbins or Tony Robbins. And he was talking about basically uh, happiness, the art of fulfillment. The art of fulfillment means how to be happy. Being successful is a science. You do step one, step two, step three, step four, you can become successful in business, in money, in body, in society, in your family. Success is pretty easy. But happiness, happiness is much more difficult. Happiness requires appreciation, and contribution. Appreciation means love, and contribution means giving. And this is not as easy. To truly love and to truly give is not as easy. So what is the magic of happiness? The magic is decision. You have to remind yourself that love is a verb. You can choose to love. Giving is a verb. You can choose to give. And if you choose to love, and if you choose to give, you can be happy. So choice, decision, is the ultimate power. That's what he's talking about. But you're right, Diego. It was confusing, and he did speak very, very fast. But the message was pretty simple. Um, it just was very complicated the way he said it. So are there any questions on DDM 233? Shane, I have a pronunciation question. Sure. How to pronounce the word contribute? Or is it contribute? How to yeah. pronounce that word properly? As a verb, we say contribute, contribute. So as a verb, uh, we say contribute, contribute. Uh, as a noun, where's contribution? Uh, when we say contribution, we say contribution. So it's contribution as a noun. As a verb, contribute. Want to try it? Okay. Okay. Uh, for the verb first, contribute. And for a noun, should be contribution. Very good. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. Thank you. Next. Yes. Are you listening? Okay. I have a pronunciation question too. In the in the last line, in your explanation, did you say that it was the hard one? I I agree with you. <laughs> they they say uh, he say like I've got to remind ourselves is decision is the ultimate power. He said actually I've got it, it's very linked. I can. Pronunciation that. Uh, his, that. his pronunciation you're talking about right here, right? Uh, just a minute. Yeah. What? Oh my God, Kim. 
he linked that that word that makes very confusing to understand and to pronounce that. That's right. Tony, I don't want you to speak like he did, uh, but I do want you to... So, Diego, just repeat after me. Um, so, really, what we've got to remind ourselves... Diego, say that part. So, really, what we've got to remind ourselves... So really, what I've got to remind ourselves... No, give it to me cleaner. What we've... What we've... Yep. Because our pronunciation, that's what if. No, that's but don't, don't do it like him. Let's go perfect pronunciation. What we Okay. What with? What we've got to. What... Oh, come on. <laughs> what we've got to. Yes, so let's focus again. What we've got to. 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 Like a tongue twister, that. No, what keep saying. Got... Right, right. I what want you to keep repeating. So what happens is the faster we say it, this T does disappear. And this oh. sound does disappear. And these two words go together. So the faster we say it, so perfect pronunciation again, what we've got to, what we've got to, what we've got to, and as we go faster, what we got to, 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 and this just kind of blends together. We got to remind ourselves. We got to remind ourselves. And that's the sound that we actually hear. Oh, thank you. Yeah, and this is really tough, okay? This is tough. I don't expect you guys to uh, really hear this well, but as you guys speak English, as you master your pronunciation, this type of pronunciation will become natural. So don't worry about trying to mimic it, okay? Okay, okay. It's a very okay. tough one. That's why even for this word, I put it in italics because I know uh, if you look at the original answers, I going back in time here, um, I left it in italics because I know you cannot hear both of these sections. But they're there. They are there, but you cannot hear them. I agree. I understand. English is so fun. I, I have a question. Yes, sir. Yes. The phrase up the ante, can you explain it more? I think, um, yeah, I've heard that uh, maybe it comes from uh, you know, poker, right? That's exactly right. That's exactly right. So do you play poker? No. Actually, I uh, just heard the phrase only once. So please explain more. Okay. Um, I'm not going to explain uh, the betting system. I should, but I'm not going to here because I need uh, I need to make a video to show you. But uh, up the ante, I'll explain the expression. To up the ante, up is a verb. It means to increase. Okay, and ante in this case means investment. Okay, uh, but investment is another word for risk. Investment and risk, they actually mean the same thing. When you put your money, when you invest your money, there's a chance you could lose your money. Usually it's safe, but there's a chance. There is a risk. So to up the ante means to increase the risk, to increase the risk. Does that make sense? Oh, yes. So in poker, if you play the game of poker, it's very complicated, but there are at least three separate times to bet, okay? And you've got uh, the first bet. So the first bet um, is when you have no cards. No cards, but you still must bet. 
That's the ante. The second bet is when you first see your cards. Okay? And then the third bet when you have your final cards. And you can actually have a fourth bet and a fifth bet and a sixth bet. But basically in poker, there are three levels of betting. The first bet, which is called the ante, and you have no card. You have no idea. It's just to play. So if you're a very, uh, if you're a big, whoops, if you are a big gambler, um, do you ante small or big? Thunder? I think, yeah, big is good. <laughs> yes, big is good. Is big safe or risky? Yeah, it's more risky. It's more risky, but if you win, much more money, right? Yes. Okay, and that's the idea. So if you up the ante, it's very risky, but if you win, it's much more money. So this expression comes from poker, but we can also use it in life. Do you understand? Yes. Oh, so the first bet is uh, the ante. Yes. Yes, and that's the most risky, right? It is because you have no cards. That's, that's yes. right. You have no idea. <laughs> Okay? Okay, okay, I understand. Very good, very good. Any other questions on 233? DDM 233. Hi, Derek, how are you doing? Hi, Harold. Welcome. Yeah, this is my first time joining DDM live. We're very happy to have you. Right now, Derek, we're taking questions, and a little bit later, we're going to practice role play and reading, okay? Okay. All right, good. Okay, Sorry, I'm going to go right. Oh, go ahead. Yes, sir. Go, uh, Kasem. Yes. Uh, if you up the NT, that means you, need, you, ch you challenge yourself, but by you rise your level? In real life or poker? What is the way we use this uh, uh, this We use okay. it uh, when we need to challenge ourselves, or that you have to empty. Yes, yes. When you let's say, for example, uh, uh, Kasem, what's your business? Yes. I'm a good chef. So you are a chef. Um, yes. And for you. What is a very difficult dish? What's the most difficult dish? Uh, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe... Uh, maybe the sweet or the dessert dish. One more time? The dessert. The sweet, sweet dish. Ah, uh, desserts, desserts. Okay, so desserts, desserts are tough. Uh, a little bit tough, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So let's say you've got you got three desserts. You've got a, a chocolate cake. You've got an apple pie. And uh, let's say what's a really really what's the most difficult dessert you can think of? Maybe the mousse or fondue or. Okay, good. Let's say, let's have a mousse. A chocolate mousse. Okay. 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 So, um, so somebody hires you for a job, and they say you can choose whichever dessert you want. Uh, let no. Let's say there's a competition, a competition to find the best chef, um, and it's a dessert competition. And you're like, oh boy, dessert competition. Well, chocolate cake, that's pretty standard, not too difficult. Apple pie. That's pretty standard, not too difficult. A chocolate mousse, ooh, this is much more difficult, much more risky, much more dangerous. But 
if I successfully do a chocolate mousse, I will probably win the competition. In that case, you could go easy and make a really delicious chocolate cake and maybe win, or you could up the ante and go 100%, and either you absolutely win or you look horrible. So yes, to challenge yourself, that is a possible usage of up the ante, okay? Yes, I guess. So I get the big uh, win when I did the chocolate bowl. Exactly. If it's successful, you are the king of desserts. Okay. So it makes sense, yeah. Yes, yes. When, when we need to speak uh, like a native speaker, uh, Mr. Native, native speakers, uh, we should do this uh, pronunciation for the uh, for the unnative speakers. They 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 able to uh, to understand us or to uh, know what we say in the because the American pronunciation is very tough for us, but we can read English. Uh, uh, or in the appropriate way. That's right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So a native speaker, like from uh, Philippines or from my stuff, they, they can understand uh, my pronunciation when I speak like American. Yeah, I think I think uh, for you, uh, Kasem, I think uh, an American is probably not going to have a problem understanding you. Your pronunciation is very good; it's very clear. But a non-native English speaker might have a difficult time, uh, and the only reason would be is probably their pronunciation is not so good. Um, okay. Yeah. So, Kasem, I can tell you right now. As an American, just a regular American, I really have uh, no problem, except for the microphone quality. <laughs> I have no uh, problem understanding you. I would I change it uh, next time. <laughs> very good, very good. <laughs> Let me say hi to uh, owner. Who is owner? I'm in. Yeah, yes. Young, Francisco. <laughs> Francisco's here. Very good. Welcome, Francisco. Yeah, some network problems, I think. Uh, it's working now, though. Uh, yeah, yeah. I use uh, the notebook now. Oh, good. Very good. Very good. Any more questions on 233? I think Boyu had a question. Oh, I have a question for a pronunciation, but not in this class. So could you teach me right now or later? Go ahead. Okay, how to pronounce this thing and very fast? Because this thing. Uh, usually I would, my tongue will twist. I don't know. Yeah, well, um, uh, let me see. First of all, Boyu, uh, I highly recommend that the S be strong, but the TH also be strong. This thing, this thing, this thing, this thing. Okay. Try it. This thing. Say it three this times. Thing. This thing, this thing, this thing. That sounds good. I, I like it. Now, in, if you're listening to Seinfeld or some American talking, it's absolutely possible for the TH to disappear. Um, so, for example, I like this thing. I like this thing. I like this thing. But the TH is really tough to hear. That's absolutely possible. I like this thing. I like this thing. Yes, but once again, Boyu, I recommend that you keep the TH, okay? Okay, thank you. You bet. You did good. You did good. Any other questions on 233? Yeah. Yes, Berta. Um, I have the pronunciation for, I think it's psychological. Yeah. That was really good. Psyche, we can make this a schwa. We can make this a schwa sound. Psychologi, 
go. So actually, Berta, these can all be schwas, mm. but this, but the I and the psychological, and this is an A, ah, psychological. 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 Psych -k -k, psychological. Psychological. Yes, yes, that was perfect. Psychological. Right, because we have, do you know this word, psycho? Yeah. Yeah, so that's the O, so he's a psycho. <laughs> okay. And in this case, don't say psychological. Try and keep it short, psych psychological. So it doesn't, that, that, that word doesn't come from psycho? Well, actually, there is kind of a relationship. It's in that area. But no, think of the word as very different, very different. Yeah. This word comes from a word called psychopath, okay? And path means disease. Sociopath, psychopath. Um, and this, this is a little bit different. But anyway, the psych part is connected. So here, psychological. Here, psychopath. So even this word, psychopath. We do keep the O, psychopath. We can make it schwa, but we can keep it O too, psychopath. Psychological. Very good. All right. Thank you. You bet. Uh, Coach Sain, I have one question. Yes, Francisco. Not related to this DDM, but you sometimes said the gradle sound, gradle sound? Uh, glottal sound. Gradle. Oh, how do you spell that? Glottal. Yeah, glottal. Well, I tried to find this from my dictionary, but I couldn't see it. <laughs> Glo gladl. Okay, G L O T T A. -E. Okay, I'll check it later. Okay, great. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Okay. All right, guys, I'm going to close 233. I'm going to open up 235. 235 was much easier, and we're going to roll plaque. We're going to practice this section. Not right now, though. Uh, DDM 235 was about hiking. And I made a ACC video, me acting silly out in the desert. I hope that you watched the video. I know that Diego did. Thank you for your comments, Diego. Uh, but any questions on the hiking story? Yeah, what's the meaning of the title? Hitting them trails. All right, it's a great expression. Bertha, uh, are you doing anything this weekend? Uh -huh. <clears throat> No, um, no Saturday because I am busy tomorrow, but maybe Sunday I'm going to hit the trails. Ah, excellent, excellent. Berta, on Sunday I'll be hitting the mall. Oh, really? What, what are you buying? Uh, I'm going to buy some shoes. <laughs> uh, for hiking? Exactly. And then maybe at night I'll be hitting the theater. Oh, with who? <laughs> <laughs> so Berta, what does it mean I'll be hitting? I'm going to. Yeah. It just means I'm going to, uh, but it also has the nuance of enjoying. So uh it has the nuance of going to and enjoying. So in this case, hitting them trails, this is bad English, but in E cubed I talk about this terrible pattern a long time ago. It just means going hiking and the nuance the extra nuance of enjoying okay francisco yeah yeah but uh, why them is there <laughs> yeah uh hold on a second let me see if i can find my e cubed um ah boy just a second Okay, here we go. Yep. So I'm going to give you, I'll, I'll put the link in our chat room, uh, but it's E cubed 176. Uh, I like them plural. That's what the, uh, the lesson is. I like them something. Okay. So we do have, I like them trails. I like them cookies. And in this video, and I'll give you the link, 
I explain this terrible grammar, okay? Mm -hmm. Do you see the link in the chat room, Francisco? Sorry? Do you see the link in the chat room? Yes, yes. Okay, so watch that video later, okay? The... So, okay. And okay. that explains yeah, that explains this. So once again, them plural uh, that explains that usage. It's a it's a common pattern. It's very country. It's kind of funny though, uh, and we do use okay. it. Okay. Okay. Thank you. You bet. More questions. TDM two thirty five hiking. Did you guys, did everybody watch my ACC video, yes? Yes. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Coach Chen. Yes. Uh, the word hook, uh, the, the, the correct pronunciation is hook it or hook. Okay, I'm so gonna... it's actually like this. It's a uh, uh, not a ooh, but a uh, and it's hooked, hooked, hooked. Perfect. I am hooked. I'm hooked. Oh, okay. So you said the um, um, the first vowel is no u. It's u. Uh. This for this word it's uh. That's right. It's uh. Do you Berta, Do you know the 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 Do you know the owl? Yeah. What sound does the owl make? Do you know what sound it makes in English? Yes, and we spell that like this, hoot, hoot, and this is the oo sound, but then the word hook, like fishing hook, uh, it's an uh sound, uh sound, it is different, it's not even uh, it's uh, uh. So it's hooked? Perfect. Hooked, yeah, I was saying it, hooked. Yeah, it's, it's a really, yeah, you got to be careful with the oo and the uh. Yeah, it's okay. Americans are gonna understand, but we we gotta try to be perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Boyu says, "Why do you open tons of windows on your browser?" Uh, Boyu, I monitor so many things at one time. <laughs> More questions. Great. We're going to Seinfeld. We'll get to role play in a minute here. Seinfeld will start with DDM 234. This was the ending of our last Seinfeld. Uh, Wendy and George and Elaine, they get angry at her. The nursing home with Uncle Leo and Buddy. And then back in the lobby with Mary and Steve and Jeff. And then finally, at Kramer's apartment, where there's a party, and Jerry, who cannot come in. That was the situation. Pretty simple. Uh, but any questions on anything in DDM 234? I'm closing it. DDM 236, we started a new... Seinfeld, and uh, this was the stand-up routine talking about doorman, doorman, all right? Uh, we met a doorman. He was, he was not very nice. He was uh, actually very mean. I think everybody agrees he was uh, kind of a dirty old man. I felt sorry for Jerry. Um, then we met Kramer and George, and Kramer was playing around for the German tourists pretending to mug George. He liked saying the word porky and fat boy, which are kind of funny. Not nice words, everybody, very mean words. Uh, then we're at Elaine's house sitting. She's house sitting for her boss. Her boss is Mr. Pitt, and Jerry goes there. They are going to go watch a movie but Jerry is not going down because he's scared of the doorman. 
Uh, so Elaine teases him. Any questions on DDM 236 or any questions about anything? Go ahead. Uh, I have a yes, cousin. When the, when the jury uh, gets in the PT building and uh, face uh, the doorman, ask him uh, uh, the question, what are you? Why he didn't ask him, uh, who are you? Right. So, great question. So, what's the difference? Uh, so, let me, so, Kasem. Yeah. Who are you? I'm Kasem. I'm Kasem. What are you? Uh, okay. Do you see that? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's the so situation. Asked, uh, about what, what things described him. Exactly. What's your relationship? What's your job? What's your function? Yes. Yeah. Do you see the difference? But it's very tough to ask anyone, what are you? Oh, definitely. Yeah, def this is, a, this is a, a, a rude. It's a bit rude. That's right. It's a bit rude, yeah. Yes. In this situation, so, everybody, think about this. If you were a doorman, what would you ask? How would you ask this question? You have to ask the question, but this is rude. How would you ask the question? Anybody? I would ask, who are you? No, where are you? So, you, so who are you is a little bit better, right? Yeah. not unpolite. It's better. There's a better one, though. The better one would be this. What can I? Or, oops, I can't spell. This would be better. What's your business? What's your business? And this doesn't mean, you know, I'm a chef or I'm an English teacher. It means, what this means is, uh, what are you doing here? Or why have you come here? Okay, that's what it means. Okay, it doesn't mean you know IBM. It doesn't mean that. It doesn't mean business. It means what are you doing here? Why have you come here? Uh, and of course, who are you here to see? Uh, you know, obviously in this case it would be Mr. Pitt or actually Elaine in this case. Now she he did say this. He already stated why he's coming. So now he wants to know the relationship. In that case. What's your business would be a much better question. Who are you is okay. What are you, the boyfriend? That's rude. Uh, what's your business is the best. Great question. Never even thought about that. That's why I like uh, the live hangouts. Go ahead, Thunduck. Yes, um... I um uh, I want you to check you know, for my conversation about two uh, dumb and uh, dumb men. Is that correct? One more time. I'm a little bit confused because uh, when they speak fast, it's kind of similar. Yes, and that's absolutely true. So perfect pronunciation, doorman. Doorman. Door. And make it, doorman. Yeah, make it more door. Doorman. Doorman. Dorman. Dorman. Yes, that's right. One more time. Doorman. Dorman. 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 Very good. So when we want to be clear, the pronunciation is absolutely different. However, this word, to be honest, usually has a schwa. I'm a doorman. I'm a doorman. It sounds the same as this. These two words will sound the same, so we really need to understand the context, the sentence, to know if it's doorman or doormen, okay? Okay. Yeah, that's a great question, too. Yeah, it's the same like in women, right? Women. Woman. Yeah, we say woman. The oh, only, yeah. The only difference is with women, it's a little bit easier because women and woman... The ending, like Bertha said, the ending is the same. However, uh, when we say plural, it's w, and when we say singular, it's w, w. 
so but the men part sounds exactly the same uh women woman sounds the same so in woman woman both vowels are sure oh uh, yeah great point yes yes that's right woman woman it's a uh, i'm a woman or you're a woman i'm not a woman <laughs> yeah woman perfect perfect and women yeah. Yeah, and also I, I wanted to ask you about, uh, you know, when Jerry said, I uh, was talking to George about, uh, he wanted the Germans to see that. Yeah. Can you show the text? Um, he was talking about uh, smugging. Mugging. Oh, mugging, yeah. Oh, yeah, mugging, but how about uh, mugger? A mugger is the person who mugs. Right. So anyway, yeah, mugger. Why a mugging? Uh, the verb is to mug. Yeah. So it's like to run. Uh, so the activity is running. The person is runner. Uh, same thing here. The activity is mugging, and the person is a mugger. Yeah. So it's because of the activity then. Exactly, yes. And we can think of like a, I mean, pretty much any type of action verb, uh, drinking, whoops, uh, and drinker. Okay. Driving, driver, same idea. Yes, yes. All right. Have you ever been mugged, Berta? No. Thank I God. don't think so. And I haven't mugged anybody either. <laughs> Oh boy, now that you say that, I think I mugged my sister several times when we were younger. I took her money. Oh yeah, and I think I'm gonna go to mug in Las Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of money there. There's a lot of money rolling around, that's for sure. Be careful though. <laughs> yeah. Shane? Yes. English oh, sentence. We'll go uh Boyu first and then Francisco. Go ahead, Boyu. Okay. 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 In this sentence, could I replace mugging with mugger? Could I? Uh, they saw, oh, yeah, you know, it is possible. So here is activity, but here is person. Yes, we could change it. The, the image is different. Now we see the person, and here we see the activity. Yes, but we could do that. Yes. Okay. Francisco. Okay. Thank you. okay. The... The last scene, the, the second sentence, first part of the second sentence by Lane, I couldn't hear, we blah, 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 the movie. <laughs> so could you repeat the... Ah, uh, this part? No, no, the, the, the first one. The, yeah. We're going to miss the movie. We're going to, wanna? It was very miss... fast. Yeah, okay, let me, let me play it. I have to listen to it. Hold on a second, okay? Yeah. Uh, I gotta find it on my D drive. DDM two thirty six. DDM two thirty six. All right. Remember the union the and they went out on strike. Now you. Sure, people can go. I found them. I can't face that. We're gonna miss the movie. We're gonna miss the movie. We're gonna miss the movie. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna miss the movie. We're gonna miss the movie. We're gonna miss the movie. Ultra fast. We're gonna we're gonna miss the movie. You wanna try it? We're gonna miss the movie. We're gonna Very miss good. the but movie. Are more. We're gonna miss the movie. 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 Your second time sounded better. The only, if I can tell you anything, Francisco. A little bit more R. We're gonna miss. We're gonna miss. We're gonna miss. We're gonna miss the movie. You're gonna miss the movie. You're gonna miss the movie. You're gonna miss the movie. Sounds really good. Okay. And may may I ask about something other? The the for the to the previous TDMs. Sure. And the I'd like to ask. Never would versus would never. Kramer said I never would have introduced him. In, in DDM 2.16. But normally, I would never have introduced him. It would be better, in my opinion. 
Well, let me see. But never Hold would do. Yeah, let me think. Never. I never would. Have uh, two hundred sixteen. Uh, twenty. Two hundred sixteen. Page two. Okay, I'm not going to go back. It's going to take too long. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Uh, but okay. These two, let me just compare. I never yeah. would have introduced him. I would never have introduced him. I never would have introduced him. I would never have. Yeah. Um, boy, I just don't. I know there's probably a grammar rule uh, in which we probably aren't supposed to split it, but they're both no problem. Let me do a Google search and see if there's something more common. So I never would have made. Okay, we'll do that. Uh, I never would have made 338,000. I would never have made. It's going to be much less. I would never have made. Oh, 12 million. Much more. Much more. Um, I would never have made. I never would have made. I would never have made. We use them both. I would never have made is much more common. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, and, and one more. Yep. Then the uh, two not kiss, not two kiss. Mm. The Jerry said this is the first time to not kiss uh, or something like that. To not kiss. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, hold on a second. This is the first time to not kiss her. This is the first time not to kiss her. Oh boy, that's a great question. Personally, this has more emphasis, okay? Um, so this sounds stronger, but let's go back to Google and see what's more common. Now remember, Google, the problem with Google is we're going to get more written English than spoken English, but let's see what we have. Uh, this is the first time to not I got four. This is the first time not to and four million. Okay, let's find a different one. This is the first time to not, this is the first time not to go. This is the first time not to go two million. This is the first time to not go. Yeah, and, and essentially zero. Um, yeah, and this is written English and spoken English. I disagree with the results. And and actually, it's not. Uh, it's written English and spoken English. Uh, I'm going to give you another one. Um, Francisco? Yes? Did you ever go to the restaurant Outback? Yes. And what do you order? Every time you go, what do you order? Steak? Steak. Okay. Um, the next time you go, Francisco, I recommend you order the fish, the baked fish. Okay? Yes. Now, in this situation, when you're sitting with your friends and you order, everybody says steak, 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 and you always say steak, 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 steak. But this time, if you want to emphasize, this is the first time to not order steak. And this really emphasizes that you always ordered steak, and this is the first time to not, okay? Because you're putting not next to the order. It actually adds to the verb, okay? This is the activity. You're, you're just saying you're, you're not doing the activity. And this is even more strongly uh, focusing on the verb. Not, not even the object, but to not order steak. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? I agree with you, but I can agree with you, but uh, grammatically, yeah. not to is correct. Yes, 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 and, yes, I agree. But it, yeah, and as you said, the, to emphasize the situation, to not is also spoken. Okay? That's right, that's right. Okay. Do you know the situation that, comedy um, Friends? Yes. Chandler loves this style of speech. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. I don't remember exactly, but uh, yeah, it's a long time ago. I see it. Okay. Bertha, yes, that's right. Mug is a verb, and also mug is a noun. So if you are drinking a mug of beer on the street 
and a guy stole your mug of beer, you could say, a guy mugged me for my mug. A mugger mugged my mug of beer. <laughs> yeah. Mug of beer. Oh. Or coffee. We can change to coffee. I'm sure. Final chance. Questions? Anybody? Yeah. Jane, I have more question. Yeah. Uh, in previous, the the uh, the two pennies thick versus versus two pennies thick. Ah. Two pennies thick versus. Thick. Two pennies thick. Versus what? Two penny thick. Two penny thick. Thick. Yeah. Okay, it has to be this, two pennies, because we're counting the pennies. Two pennies thick. Two penny doesn't make any sense. No? No, this doesn't. So, uh, yeah. So, I'll give you another idea. Um, two inches thick. Two pennies thick. Ah, I see what you mean. I, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. So, two inches thick and two inch Ah, okay, okay, okay. So the differences. Um, all right. So, so this is a simple one. Two inches thick. We have to think about the sentence structure. Um, hold on a second. So, the book was two inch thick or two inches thick. Which one? Yeah, this is correct. Yeah, two inches thick. No. This is correct. Two inches oh? thick. Oh, really? Yes. Um, it was a two-inch thick book. Book. Oh. So the same thing here. Um, the statue, the copper was two pennies thick. The two penny thick copper, copper was amazing or something like that. Okay, I got it. Okay. Okay? Okay, thank you. You bet. Okay, I got it. Thank you. Bump, 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 bump. That's the end. Let's get into some role play. Now, first of all, I'm going to do 235 and 236 today. Um, 235, I'm just going to have you guys read uh, a good chunk here. I'm going to break things up. Uh, hopefully, things will be pretty even. Uh, do it like this. I'm going to give everybody a little section. Like that. Yeah. Get rid of this picture. Get rid of Great. The, ah, yes. Hold on. Thank you. Thank you. Two, three, five. Uh, oops. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay. Um, so I got. If you have to watch my screen. I have little sections here, bop, 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 and we're just gonna go each person. I'm gonna give you guys uh, uh, one little section, and then when we finish, we'll go back to the top. So we'll start with Berta, and then Boyu, and then Derek, and then George. Hi, George. And Hatron, I think, is just listening. But if your mic is working, that's great. Uh, then Kasem, then Owner, which is Francisco, Tanda. And Diego. Let's, so let's start with Berta. And everybody, please keep keep your microphone muted until it's your turn. It'll have a better uh, audio quality. So Berta, start us off, please. Okay. Hidden them trails. Live from ABC7. This is a witness news in high definition. Well, now that we have real summer weather, many are. Mm, Many are taken to the trails for a hike, but there is more to trekking than a water barrel and adequate sunscreen. Excellent. Boyu. 
our food and fitness coach Lori Corbin has some tips to hike safely. Try to go three, four days a week, and that's in addition to doing like regular workouts too. But I, this is a nice change up. Great job, Derek. I start two weeks ago. My little boy, my me, and I'm holding. I'm here every day. <laughs> a common LA part time cooking channel. <laughs> Good job. Very good, Derek. It's your first time. That was really good. Let me go to George. Hiking in itself is a great low-impact activity that any age group can do. But specific to hiking, I mean, there are a lot of injuries that come apart from hiking. I liked it. Great job. Good job, RoboCop. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Hatran. Hatran, is your mic working? Okay, let's go to Kasem. Okay, that's okay, Hatran. Uh, Kasem, go for it. The Barbara says he he sees uh, he sees many who over injured ankles, hip, knees, and back. I see people wearing flip flops when they go hiking, and any hip coming coming to me and say, "Why did I injure my ankle?" Good Lack job. Of flexion. That's right, right, right there. Very good. And Francisco, the next part. Francisco, your mic is off. <gasps> oh, sorry. Okay. Lack of stretching and inappropriate footwear are tops for injuries. So look for shoes with a wide toe box, good arch support, and sole padding, and along with the good traction. Very good, very good. Hold on a second. Just a second. Okay. Uh, let me go to our next victim, Tanda. I start with the first day, right? Yes, sir. The first day I thought I was going to die. Walk before heading up the mountain to warm core temperature and increase joint and muscle circulation. Cold, stiff muscles are prone to injury. Great the job. The backpack should be warm. Right there. Right there. Good job, Tandok. Diego, the next one. A backpack should be warm if both straps and it does a lot of weight. Don't lean forward to compensate for extra baggage. And don't run down don't run down the mountain. It's come a way to blow out your knee. Great job, Diego. Uh, Diego, do the next one too. I see a lot of these clients end up having surgery. It's not a good idea to take a walk along for a multiple multiple of reasons. But if you are gonna do it anyway, make sure you take your cell phone so you can call for help. Great. And Tandok, the next one. You also want an ICE number in your address book. ICE stands for in case of emergency. This is this is so helpful if a hiker fans as an ICE number makes it easy for passerby to find help. Good job, very good. Let me go to uh, Francisco, the next short one. Francisco, your microphone again. <laughs> oh, sorry again. Yeah. Finally, end your hike with a stretch session. Hold each move at least one minute. Great job. And Kasem? Stretch your calves, stretch your hamstrings, stretch your back muscles. Very good. And uh, George, finish us out. This lengthened tight muscles brings down heart rate and helps you relax before that car ride home. Very good, very good. I liked it. Everybody did a really good job. Uh, let me go all the way back to the top uh, with Berta. Uh, one more time, th these two words, please, Berta. Eyewitness news. There you go. Make it even stronger. Eyewitness news. Eyewitness news. Very good. And... This is 
city, witness news. Yeah, everything else was. Can you make this more country? <laughs> uh, how? Can you give Hitting an example? Hitting them trails. Oh, hitting them trails. <laughs> Perfect. You guys, don't forget, if you watch our uh, Google Plus community, Berta has uploaded several videos of her hiking, of her trip to Chattanooga. Uh, great stuff. So if you have a chance on our Let's Master English Google Plus community, check out Berta's videos. Thanks a lot for sharing those, Berta. Yeah, you're welcome. Boy, you. Try to go three, four days. Good. Try to go three, four days a week. Try to go three, four days a week. Yeah, careful with the TH. Try to go three, four days a week. Try to go three, four days a week. I'm almost hearing an S. Three, three. I want three, three. Try to go three, four days three. a week. Try to go three, four days a week. Okay, you're you're right there. You're just okay. You're just okay. Be careful, okay? Okay. And Derek, I started yeah. two weeks ago. I started two weeks ago. Excellent job. That was perfect. One more time. I started two weeks ago. I started two weeks ago. My niece brought me. My niece brought me. Excellent job. And I am hooked. And I am hooked. Excellent job. That's perfect. Sounds much better. Try this one more time, Derek. I started two weeks ago. My niece brought me. And I'm hooked. Excellent job. Past time. Pastime. Good. A common LA pastime. A common LA pastime. Good. Try and put this together. LA. LA. Great. A common LA pastime. A common LA pastime. One more time. LA. 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 Good. A common LA pastime. A common LA part time. Much better. Good job. Very good, Derek. George, I need intonation. Yes. Now look at this sentence. Uh, so the key words are what, George? Injuries. And hiking. There you go. That's right. These are the context words. Now. What are some important adverbs or adjectives? Uh, a lot of. There you go. And especially this word. A lot of. And we can also kind of hit that too. Okay. Especially come about from. Especially come about. Okay. Come uh, about from. There you go. So try it again, George. There are a lot of injuries that come about from hiking. Okay, so let's do this. There are a lot of injuries. There are a lot of injuries. There are a. There are. This is really tough. There are a. There are a. There are a. There are a. <laughs> One more there time. Are a, there are a. There are a. There are a lot of injuries. There are a lot. There are. There are a. There are a uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> don't worry, don't yeah. worry, don't worry, George. This is tough. Let's go yeah. slow. There are a lot of injuries. There are a lot of injuries. That come about. That come about. That come about. That come about. From hiking. From hiking. There are a lot of injuries. There are there are a lot of injuries. That come about from hiking. That that come about from hiking. Good. One more time. The whole thing. There are a lot of injuries that come about from hiking. Sounded really good. Good job, George. Keep it up. Thank you. This is a tough one, Kasem. Uh, believe it or not, there's a G sound. Ankles. Ankles. There you go. Who've injured ankles, hips, knees, and back? Injured. Ankles, hips, 
sneeze and back. Good job. Give me more ah here. Flip flops. Flip flops. There you go. Great job. Thank you. Let me go to Francisco. Str stretching. Stretching. Good. Lack of stretching. Well, lack of stretching. 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 Yeah, don't get that stud. Don't do that. Stretching. Stretching. Inappropriate. Inappropriate. Very good. And it's not create, it's pre it. This is an adjective. Inappropriate footwear. Inappropriate footwear. Excellent job. Give me more O. Toe box. Toe box. And keep the L. Sole padding. Sole padding. Good. And keep the L strong here. Along with. Along, along with. Along with. Traction. No. No. Tra. Traction. Tra traction. Very good. So, Francisco, you can see we got these R clusters here. And mm -hmm. be very careful with that R cluster sound, okay? Okay. Very good. Let me keep going here. Uh, Thunduk. So, Thunduk, I don't, I didn't yeah. believe you. Try this again. Say it like a human. The first day I thought I was going to die. I don't believe you. What? <laughs> <laughs> the first day... I thought I was going to die. The first day, I thought I was going to die. There you go. That was English. Good job. Diego, without a lot of weight. Without? Without a lot of weight. More TH. Without. Without. Uh, without. Without With, a lot of weight. Without a lot of weight. Good job. For the extra baggage. For the extra baggage. Once again, the th for the for the for oh, the actually for oh, the for oh the extra God. baggage. For the extra baggage. Nope, I'm still hearing a d for the. For, for, for d. The. Oh my God. That's again. <laughs> yeah. The the for for the extra baggage. Yes, oh, let's do it again. Without oh. a lot of weight. Without a lot of, we've, we've found, we've, oh my God, it's hard. We've, we've found a lot of weight. Good, good. One more. Without a lot of weight. Without a lot of weight. For the extra baggage. <laughs> oh my God, I, I forgot it. <laughs> oh, I want to try that. <laughs> It's really well, tough. I know. But you don't have that in, in Portuguese. That's so hard. <laughs> I know. It's not just Portuguese. Many languages just do not have the TH. And these are two different THs. This is the aspirated, the air TH. Yeah. And this is the vibrated, the vibrated TH. So they're different yeah. THs. Oh, my God. <laughs> my tongue kind of... You... Uh, uh, Diego, are you going to join me tomorrow for DDM Live 2? Yeah, of course. Okay, I want you to practice this for tomorrow, all right? Okay. Okay, let's go to this one. Don't run down that mountain. Don't run down that mountain. There you go. That was great. Perfect, perfect. Let me go. Stop sticking with Diego. More TH. I see a lot of these clients... Just uh, uh, one question, Coach. Yeah. Hey, we say without or without. Okay, both. Actually, Americans will say both. They will say without, and they'll say without. You'll hear both. There's no question. In this situation, oh. you should say without, without, without. But I guarantee oh, many Americans will say without, without. There's no question. Oh. Because the without is more common for us to to pronounce it. Without is more hard. <laughs> what? Okay. 
I'm sorry, Diego. I want you to master perfect English. <laughs> oh, that's the, that's the reason I'm here. <laughs> Let's try the bottom one. This is a vibrated TH. I see a lot of these clients. I see a lot of these clients. Perfect. That was great. It's not a good idea. It's not a good idea. Take a walk alone. It's not a it's not a good idea. Take come on. Just wait. It's not a good idea. Take a walk alone. For a multitude of reasons. For a multitude of reasons. It's not a good idea to take a walk alone for a multitude of reasons. It's not a good idea to take a walk alone for a multitude of reasons. Very good. Now everybody look carefully and you'll see that we broke this into three sections and if we do that it's much easier. It's not a good idea to take a walk alone for a multitude of reasons. One more time, Diego. It's not a good idea to take a walk alone for a multitude of reasons. Not too bad. I want more linking, though. More linking. One more time. It's not a good idea. It's not a good idea to take a walk alone for a multitude of reasons. Perfect. Here, too. No, Link not. this. Do it. Do it. But if you're going to do it anyway. But if you're going to do it anyway. Great job. Very good. All right, let me go to Thanduk. Now, Thanduk said a dress book. A dress book. Um, a dress book. And that's wrong, unfortunately. Uh, so the word address and address. We can say it the same. What is your address? What is your address? Both intonations are possible. Some people say address. Some people say, let me change my color here. Some people say address. Okay, so in this sentence, both are acceptable. Now, as a verb, this is a verb, I will address the people. In this situation, it must be address. I will address, I will address the people. So as a verb, it must be address. As an adjective, it's going to have to be address, address, address book. As an adjective, the intonation goes on the front. Okay? Okay. Address yeah, book. This is so complicated, and you know what, Thunduk, the only way to know this is just to speak and listen to English a lot. So don't worry about memorizing. It's really difficult. So just let's say it again in your address book. In your address book. Perfect. Very good. This too, uh, Thunduk, many Americans make this mistake. We want to make it plural, so we add S at the end, but actually the plural should be passers-by. 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 Great job. Very good. Good job. And I think that was it. Oh, no, no, no. We got a bunch more here. Hold on a second. Uh, this is Francisco. Francisco, you said finally, which is okay. But I want you to actually get rid of this syllable and just say, finally. Finally. Good. Finally. Finally. And here, too, that R cluster stretch session. Stretch session. Stretch Good session. Good. And Kasem, this word. Quads. 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 Quad. Very good. Yeah, it's like K-W-A-D-S. Quads. Quads. Good job. Hamstrings. Hamstrings. Good job. Stretch your back muscles. Stretch your back muscles. Stretch. Stretch. Very good. Be careful. The same as uh, Francisco. Be careful with the str. Okay? Stretch your back muscles. Good job. And George? Length 
lengthens, lengthens. Lengthen. Perfect. Keep the S. Uh, it's actually a Z sound. Lengthens. Lengthens. Good job. Lengthens. Car ride home. Car ride home. Put it together. Car ride. Car ride. Perfect. Woo. Questions? Yeah, the as you said, the, the last part, car ride home. Yes. Can we say horse ride home or <laughs> kind of carriage ride home? Yep, yep. We can say a horse ride home. We can say boat ride home. Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> Bike ride home, sure. Oh, okay, okay. Thank you. Pig ride home. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I like to practice my one, two, three, the sound. Sure. Could you say it again? Uh, the sound. One, two, three. Uh, yes, the three. Three, three. Okay, so uh, my weakness is is too much S sound or. First of all, give me your TH. Could you hear? Probably it's difficult. Okay, I have to I find hear. my microphone on my on my iPad. Uh -huh. Let's see. Um, Did you hear? Yeah, I can hear, but the problem is three, three. You try to – okay, so basically what I'm hearing is uh, these are your upper teeth and these are your lower – oh, sorry, lower teeth. Uh, and your tongue – right now your tongue is, is here. It's good. But I think your tongue's a little bit too high, and you need to bring your tongue down more. So try and keep your tongue more like this. Three, three, three. Three, three. Okay, that sounds three. much better. Try it again. Say it slow. Just the TH. Listen carefully. Say it just like me. Listen carefully. Three. Three. That was really good. I heard a little bit of an S, but it was much better. Don't move the tip of your tongue. Keep it there. Get a full TH. Three. 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 Perfect. Three. Three. Thirty-three. Thirty-three. Okay, now let's let's make it an S sound. Thirty-three. 33. Yes. It's hard. Okay. But the when we do the TH, the TH must come past the teeth. So the S, if we do the S sound, the the uh, the TH comes right before, right before. But when we do the S, it actually comes through, okay? So, I'm sorry, the S is before. So this is before and the uh, and through is the TH. So 33, we cannot see the tongue. 33, we can see the tongue. Okay? Okay. Could you explain that again? You say, you say which one you won't see the tongue. 33, no see the tongue. 33, we see the tongue. The, con the tongue comes through. Okay. Okay. So when so, you pronounce H sound, you, you won't see your tongue. Yes. Okay. So which one? The I, I will practice. One. Good. Yes, you practice, and if you can come tomorrow, uh, let me hear you. Okay. Hey, I have a, I have a question. George, wait a second. Kasem first, and then George. Go ahead, Kasem. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Uh, which one? The right one. The third three or third three? Seriously. No, no, three, three, uh, three. Ah. Thirty-three. Yes, yes. Thirty-three. 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 Perfect. Perfect. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Yep. Yeah. George, go ahead. I have a question on the pronunciation. Which one is correct, eater or 
either? Because both. So yes, great question. Uh, I, got so either... I got so confused. A lot of people say either, a lot of other people say either. Yeah, yeah, you're, you're right, George. Uh, and same thing with this. Neither, neither, either, either. Uh, they're both acceptable. And George, I say both. And I think, I don't know, George, uh, I say both naturally. If I, maybe, George, maybe if I want to emphasize, I might be saying either or neither, uh, if I want to emphasize. And if it's more casual, maybe uh, it's either. And, and I'm not sure, George, that's not really a good rule, but basically either for casual, either to emphasize. Okay. Okay? Okay, thanks. You bet. Great questions today, guys. You guys are killing me. <laughs> okay, we're going to run through Seinfeld real quick. And I'm going to be listening, not really for uh, pronunciation, I'm going to be listening for your acting ability. So what do I got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Perfect. I got one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, good. So I'll just have somebody repeat something. So we're going to start with uh, Doorman and Jerry. Uh, and I'll go, I'll go at the end first. Uh, actually, we'll go with Bedetha first. Bedetha, do you want to be the Doorman or Jerry? Um, the Doorman. Okay. And Boyu, how perfect you will be. Jerry, <laughs> go for I want to be Dorman. <laughs> Too bad. <laughs> okay, uh, um, I couldn't see the Jerry. screen. Oh, Bertha, are you going to exchange? Yeah, if you want, yeah. <laughs> Boyu, do you want to be the Dorman or Jerry? I want to be a Dorman. <laughs> okay, oh, that's very nice. Thank you, Bertha. Go for it, guys. <laughs> okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. May I help you? Yeah, I'm just going up to see Ellen Venice. Venice? There's no one here by that name. Oh, she's um, she's house sitting for Mr. Pitt. Oh, house sitting. Yeah. Yeah. Where are you? The boyfriend? Here for uh, quick? Can I just go up? Oh, I get it. I don't waste time making small talk with the doorman. I should just shut up and do my job. Open the door for you. Good job. Keep going. How about the snakes? <laughs> oh, I see. On the sports page. Yeah. What makes you think I wasn't reading the Wall Street page? Oh, I know because I'm the under un uneducated doorman. Great job, guys. Very good. And I remember, Bertha, you, you already did uh, the Jerry line. <laughs> okay. Bertha nailed uh, uh, it perfectly. So let's go here first. House sitting, yeah. House sitting, yeah. What are you, the boyfriend? What are you, boyfriend? Good. Don't, don't leave out the. What are you, the boyfriend? What are you, the boyfriend? Good. Quickie? Quickie? Yep, leave that, keep that E in there. Very good. And is it the uneducated or the uneducated? The uneducated. This is a tough one. Because I'm the uneducated doorman. Because I'm the uneducated doorman. Oh, very good, very good. Let's go right to the next one. I'm going to keep moving along here. This time, Derek, you are... I'm going to have Derek be George. And... George is Kramer. We'll make things really crazy today. <laughs> Ready? Yep. So you think your parents will get, uh, um, so you think your parents parents will get back together or yeah, this is good problem. job, that was good. Parents will yeah. I hope so. I can't stop him living with me much longer. He makes this casa is set up the room's house. Good job, good job, Derek. Hey, George, stick them up. <laughs> what? For the German tourists. 
pretend that I'm robbing you. Why? So these people can go back home and tell their friends they saw a real New York market. I'll give them a thrill. All right, hands up, Pokey. <laughs> That's it. Now, give me your wallet. You got it in here, huh, fat boy? <laughs> Is that all you got, huh? Is that all you got? Oh, it's, that's enough. I'll tell you when it's enough. Uh, better not better not say anything. Or I'll stop you. Oh, great job, guys! Really good. I believed it. Uh, let's go back here to Kramer. You did a good job, uh, George. Parental, parental, parental. You think parental. your parents will get back together? So you think your parents will get back together? Good. Keep the th. Parents will get back together. Parents will get back together. 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 More th. Gather. Together. Good. Together. You think your parents will get back together? So you think your parents parents will get back together? Very good. Very good. Let me go to Derek. I can't take him. I can't take him. Living with me. Living with me. Much longer. Much longer. Good. Let's do it again. I can't take him living with me much longer. I can't take him living with me much longer. Very good, Derek. Just keep practicing. That was good. It stinks up. It stinks up. The whole house. The whole house. The whole house. The whole house. Whole house. Whole house. Good. It stinks up the whole house. It stinks up the whole house. Great job, guys. Sounds really good. Let's go back here. It'll give them a thrill. It'll give them a thrill. Porky. Porky. <laughs> good. And this one too, George. I'll stalk you. I'll stop you. Very good. Very good, guys. Very good. I'm going to keep going. Keep going right away. Uh, hi, Hugo. Hi, man. How are you doing? I'm glad that you joined us. Are you ready to practice, Hugo? Yeah. Long time no see. Yeah, it's good to have you. Let's have Hugo be Elaine and Kasem be Jerry. Go for it, guys. Where you have been? We're gonna miss the movie. Let's go. I'm not going back down there. I can't set that guy. Again. <laughs> <laughs> Hugo, your mic is off. One more time, Hugo. That guy? The doorman. I don't want to play any more of his mind games. What time does he get off? Get off. Six, but then my doorman comes home. He's much he's scarier. Scarier. Well, it's almost six now. Can't you can't we just wait till he goes home? Uh We'll still make the movie. Okay, okay. Great job, guys. Very good. Let me go back to Hugo. Hugo, be more angry. Where have you been? Where have you been? Good. Now, Hugo, I want you to keep the V, and this is what happens. Where have you? Where have you been? Where have you been? Hugo, what's your best friend's name? Uh, Roman. Roman? Yeah. So let's say Roman was supposed to meet you at 7 o'clock, and now it's 9 o'clock, and he comes over. Yeah. Where are you been? Oh, you're too nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Roman, where have you been? <laughs> Roman, where have you been? There you go. And then hit him. <laughs> Okay, let me go to Kazem. I need more A. I can't face that guy again. 
I can't save that guy again. Great job, great job. And here, uh, what time does he get off? What time? What time does he get? What time does he get off? What time does he? What time does he? What time does he go to work? What time does he go to work? What time does he wake up? What time does he get wake up? What time does he wake up? What time does he wake up? What time does he play football? Sorry again. What time does he play football? What time does he play football? That's right, yeah. Play football. Play football. Uh, what time does what he time cook? What time does he play football? What What time does he cook? Good. What time does he get off? What time does he get off? There you go. So this is a really common pattern. Just make it easy for you. What time does he, what time does he, what time does he, and then just focus on get off, play football, cook, wake up, go to bed, whatever, okay? Okay. All right, Hugo, make a scary ghost sound. <laughs> I don't know how to make that. <laughs> how about this? <laughs> so do this. Do this again. Do this again, Hugo. Um, six. But then the night doorman comes on. He's much scarier. Uh. <laughs> it sounded terrible. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> That's all right. Okay, then let me go to Kasem. We'll still make the movie. We'll still make the movie. Great job. Intonation is really good, guys. Let me keep going. Francisco and Tantok. I want you guys to do the first one. Francisco, you're the doorman. Don Duck, you're Jerry. Go for it, guys. Whoa, whoa, whoa. May I help you? Yeah. I'm just going up to see Elaine Benis. Benis? There's no one here by the name. Oh, she's, um, she's house-sitting for Mr. Pitt. Oh, how sitting? Yeah. Yeah. Where are you? The boyfriend here for a quickie? I just go up. Oh, I get it. Why waste time making small talk with the doorman? I should just shut up and do my job. Open the door for you. How about those nicks? Oh, I see. On the spot pay. Yeah. What makes you think I was I wasn't reading the Wall Street page? Oh, I know because I'm an unedited domain. Great job, guys! Really good, very good, very good. I'm gonna have both you guys practice these things. Uh, is it Elaine or Elaine? Elaine. Yes. Elaine. Okay, so you know what, Thunduck? Actually, you're right. The perfect pronunciation is Elaine. However, the daily pronunciation. Elaine. Elaine Bennis. Elaine Bennis. Great job. Let me go to this one. Sports page. Sports page. On the, oh, I see. On the sports page. Oh, I see. On the sports page. Good. Dandok, say it too. Oh, I see. On the sports page. Good. And Francisco? What makes you think I wasn't reading the Wall Street page? What makes you think I wasn't reading the Wall Street page? One more time. What makes you think I wasn't reading the Wall Street page? That's better. And this one? I'm the uneducated, uh, because I'm the uneducated doorman. Because I'm the uneducated doorman. The because I'm un the uneducated doorman. There you go. And give me a little bit more j. Because I'm the uneducated, uneducated, the uneducated oh. doorman. Because I'm the uneducated doorman. The uneducated doorman. The uneducated doorman. Good, good. Dan Duck, try this one too. Because I'm the uneducated doorman. Oh. Edu. Ed now remember, guys, this is a Jew like the Jew, uh, unedu, uneducated, uneducated. Uneducated. Good. Once again, Francisco, uneducated. Uneducated. There you go. Very good. I'll take that. 
All right, Diego. Diego and Bertha, you guys are going to finish this out here. Diego, you are Kramer. Bertha, you are George. Go for it, guys. So, you think your parents will get back together? I hope so. I can't take him living with me much longer. He makes this kasha. It stinks up the whole house. <laughs> hey, George, stick him up. What? For this German tourist. Pretend that I'm robbing you. Why? So these people can go back home and tell their friends they saw a real New York muggin. It will give them, it will give them a thrill. All right. Hands up, Porky. <laughs> That's it. Now, give me your wallet. Oh, sorry. You got in here. Ah, oh, fat boy. <laughs> Is that all you got? Huh? Is that all you got? All right, that's enough. <laughs> <laughs> I will tell you when it's enough. All right, you had you had better not say anything. I will stack you. Great job, guys. Very good, very good. Intonation was good. <laughs> TH again, Diego. So you think oh, you're to get back together? Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, so, if, so you think your parents will get back together? Together? It's together or together. Together. It's a vibrated together. together. Okay. Together. Good. There you go. Good. Give me more ah sound here. Pretend that I'm robbing you. Pretend I'm robbing you. Pretend that I'm robbing you. A robbing or robbing? Once again, in your head, I prefer you keep perfect, robbing, robbing you. Okay. But pronunciating, robbing. Well, um, that's probably what Kramer said. But when you say it, I still want you to try and give me perfect, unless I tell you otherwise. Uh, okay. Pretend that I'm robbing you. Pretend I'm robbing you. Robbing you. Robbing you. Robbing, bing, 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 robbing. Robbing, robbing you. Ro that was better. Pretend that I'm robbing you. Pretend I'm robbing you. Oh, perfect. Good job. Okay. Uh, intonation in, in the end. Yes. Robbing you. Okay. There you go. Bingo. I like that. was much better. Good. And this one? Tell their friends they saw a real New York mugging. Tell their friends they saw a real New York mugging. Great job. And once again, mugging, mugging. Mugging, now, mugging. Everybody, everybody knows that usually we don't say ing, we say in or un. Mugging. Same thing here, mugging. We say mugging or mugging. But still, everybody, please, I want you to really try your best to say robbing, to say mugging. Okay. Now, the faster you say it, the more the more you practice speaking, the more natural it will become, and the more natural it becomes, the ing naturally changes to in. Okay. Mugging. And let's do this one final one, or I'll stalk you. Or I'll stalk you. Perfect job. I That's say it. stack you. Oh my god. Not stack you, stalk you. <laughs> hey. Yes. Yeah, could you give another word for a start cue? In this case? Yeah. Oh, boy. Probably chase you down, find you, get you. In that situation, that's the idea. Okay, because I couldn't, uh, I looked uh, in the dictionary and I couldn't get. Uh, yeah, it. Kramer's making kind of a new expression, but I think what Kramer means is get you. Okay. Okay? Yeah, because that means that thing from the plant. Ah, but there's another definition of stalking. Have you heard of the stalker? Oh, yeah, the stalker, yeah. <laughs> And uh, that's pretty scary. <laughs> yeah. By the way, yeah, Tiago made a good point. 
Porky. Porky is a terrible word. It's not a, you know, it's not a, you know, disgusting word, but it's not a nice word. If you see somebody who's fat uh, and you call them Porky, that's not really nice. In America, when you say Porky, this is what we think. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. That's a great word to pronounce. Oh, it's a fun word, isn't it? <laughs> One of my other students said, Oh, it looks like George. <laughs> Excellent job, everybody. Almost two hours. I'm hanging up. I still got work to do. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. You guys did great. I will have another DDM live class in about 14 hours, 14 hours from now. So if you can join, I will send an invitation. You're more than welcome to join. Uh, and thanks a lot, guys. I appreciate it. Well, thank, thank you. Okay, thank you. Bye. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. See you. Bye. See you.